Hi guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So in this time, when mouse click this checkbox, let's open object to composition and select this check icon. Let's move to right. Let's see. Nice. And in this time, let's open object one and select this check green. Move to here. Let's see. Nice. And again, in this time, open object three. Select this check green. Move to here. Let's see. Nice. Okay, and let's open lines and select this layer. Go to here, press S and make scale shape frame, change scale zero. Go to 10 shape frame for shortcut. You can use hold shift, press page down in the keyboard. Change scale 100. Go to 10 shape frame again, change zero. Let's press N, let's see. Okay, select shape frames, make easy. Nice. Let's go to graph editor, make smooth graph like this. Okay, back to shape frames. Okay, for loop animation, let's use expression. Hold Alt, click this time icon. Go to play button, property, and loop out duration. For done expression, click this empty area and select this shape frames. Control C. Select this layer. Go to first second. Control V. Let's see. Nice. Select this layer, Control V. Okay, let's press U and select this, press U for random animation. Select this. Let's move to right and this. Hold Alt, move to right for slow animation. Let's see. Okay, nice. Okay, so select this layer. Go to this icon. Let's hold icon. Select Pen Tool, let's make Mask, click Selection Tool and Search Effect Again Stroke. Select the Stroke, let's use for this layer, change Original Image here and change Brush Size, change Brush Hardness 100 and let's change End 0. Go to First Second, make End Shape Frame. Go to 10 k frame, change end 100. Go to 10 k frame again, change end 0. Let's see. Okay, press U, select k frames, make easy. And for expression, again, hold Alt, click this time icon, click play button, property, loop out duration. Click here for done expression. And select these k frames, move to right. Let's see. Okay, nice. And let's select this layer, make mask, click session tool, and select this line one, select this stroke effect, control C, and select this layer, control V. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So, select this layer, let's make again mask, click session tool. And Control V, press U, select these three frames, hold Alt, move to right. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So let's close line compositions. Go to Scene. Let's see. Okay, let's select these lines, move to right. Okay, that's good. So let's select these layers, delete. And let's see, let's back to main. Let's see here with background. Nice. Okay, let's open scene two. And in this time, select this GIF Z, GIF right, GIF left, GIF box. Okay, right mouse, precoms, add the name, GIF. Click OK. And let's make GIF animation. Select this layer, GIF right, go to solo. And select palm behind, move to anchor point here, click session tool and solo, 
select this gift left go to solo and select anchor point here click station tool and solo and select this gif z let's link to gif box and select this gif right gif left link to again gif box and in this time select this left and right press air go to here change rotations like this and make rotation chain frames go to 10 chain frame let's change rotation like this and this go to again 10 chain frame change rotation minus 15 and this plus 15 go to 10 chain frame again change plus 7 and this minus 7 go to 10 chain frame again change this minus 3 and this plus 3 go to again 10 chain frame change plus 1 that 5 and this minus 1 that 5 go to again 10 chain frame change 0 this more chain frames for bonus effect let's select chain frames make easy let's see okay that's good so back to scene 2 and select this gift let's press p make new passing chain frame move to up and go to 10 chain frame move to down move to inside here let's see okay select chain frames make easy go to graph editor let's select this graph make like this for falling animation back to chain frames select this last chain frame of the right okay and go to last chain frame and go to six chain frame click here plus six click ok and let's move to up go to again six chain frame click ok select this chain frame ctrl c ctrl v4 filing animation let's see okay we have problem here let's say chain frames right mouse again chain frame interpolation change correct settings to linear click ok let's see okay that's good let's select this gift hold she press s click this icon and go to here make scale chain frame and go to here change scale like this move to left select chain frames make easy let's see okay nice so let's close chain frame settings and select this money let's go to here press p hold shift press s let's move to here make new passing chain frame and go to five chain frames move to left Select chain frames, make easy, and go to first second, make chain frame. Let's move to right and change scale zero. Make scale chain frames easy. Let's see. Okay, and let's move to right. Select chain frames, go to graph editor. Let's move to left. Move to right this chain frame. And in this time, make scale chain frame. Go to here change scale zero let's see okay that's good okay so let's select all these layers cards and monies move to back card background okay and let's Move to write these layers after filing GIF box. So let's select these layers, delete, and go to window, open Animation Composer 3. I will use shape animations from Animation Composer. Let's open Starter Precoms and Shape Elements. Let's select folder and we can see preview of here. Let's use this particle firebox. Click this and click add let's close sound and let's move to right move to left here 
Okay, that's good. Let's see. Nice. So let's close animation composer window and select this gift link to shop cart. Select shop cart. Let's go to solo and select anchor point. Move to down here. Click selection tool and unsolo. Let's press air. Let's see. Okay, select this cart background. Link to again shop cart. Let's say again. Nice. So in this time, let's create new object. Right mouse, new and new object. And for move to anchor point center, hold control and double click palm behind. Click selection tool and move to here. Select this shop cart and whale 2, whale 1, link to null object, select this null, let's press P, go to here, and move to left, make new patch in chain frame and go to here, move to right, select chain frames, make easy, go to graph editor, let's make graph like this, okay, and select this shop cart, Let's press R, go to here, make rotation chain frame and go to 5 chain frames, chain rotation like this. Hold shift, press P and go to here, make new passing chain frame, go to center here. Let's move to down and go to here, move to up and chain rotation minus 2 and go to 5 chain frames, chain 0. Let's move to right these chain frames. Select chain frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So let's select this gift and move to right. Okay, and select this card and money layers. Move to right. Okay, select this. Fireworks move to right again. Okay, very nice. So back to scene one, and in this time, let's select this object one, two, and three. Make new passing keyframe and go to here. Let's select object one, move to left, and object two, move to right, object three, move to up. Let's see. Okay, and select these lines, press T, make new paste chain frame, go to here, change, zero. And select chain frames, go to graph editor. Let's make smooth graph. Let's see. Okay, let's select last chain frame, move to right. Okay, back to main and in this time, select the scene 2, move to back scene 1, and move to right. Let's right mouse, composition settings, change time duration 15, click OK. And let's change scene 1 like this. And unlock background, change time duration for background. And this, lock background again. And move to right this scene too. Let's see. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's see. Nice. And let's create a new null object. And let's move to anchor point center. Hold control. Double click palm behind. Click selection tool. And select this scene 1, scene 2. Link to null object. Select this null. Press S and go to here. And in this time, make sketch frame and go to here. Let's move to here. Okay, select shape frames, make easy. Go to graph editor, select this graph. Make like this. Move to right this last shape frame. Let's see. Okay, save chain frames, move to left. So we can add background shape elements. Let's go to window, open animation comes 3, open starter precoms and shape elements. 
let's select this lines click let's click checkbox for close sound click add let's close window let's move to back here let's see okay and in this let's control d and move to right press air change 90 okay that's good go to stroke search effect fill let's use fill and go to color select background open color cube change like this click ok okay nice so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram